Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone Welcome to my channel Hope you are doing well In the best of health and iman Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah Many things are evolving Life is not getting easier and problems are not really uh, decreasing as such. But I think that the universe keeps talking to you. I think that God keeps talking to each one of us. But many times we cannot see the blessings in the suffering actually. I know that it sounds very easy to say that. But I also believe that the biggest treasures are found in suffering, in pain, in challenges, in problems. You learn a lot on yourself and you learn a lot of on life, on the world, on people, on God through your challenges. When you are being tested, it's like your heart, your eyes are open. You have a, you, you have a sort of awakening. You have a sort of enlightenment. There are many things which you probably did not realize before, but now they are clear to you. It doesn't mean that it becomes easier, but at least you feel like you become more authentic. And you start to know more where you are going, who you want to be. You start to make certain changes in your life for the better. And you start to feel like you're finally moving in the right direction. So the direction is more important than the, than the speed. Sometimes you might be going very, very fast. But you are in the right direction. Following the right, wrong kinds. You're, you're in the wrong direction. Following the wrong kinds of people. Which is really very unhealthy. So... There is a good news and there is a bad news. I think the good news is that I feel like God Allah is talking to me since a long time about hijab, telling me to wear hijab again. And it's not like I haven't worn it. Worn it. I wore the hijab for inconsistently, even till date, I wear it on and off. I know it's not a good thing, but I don't have the strength to wear it. I don't have the capacity to be consistent with it or to wear it properly i must say so i have a big weakness and i hope that i will find a solution for that but i know what i have to do i know what is right what is wrong there is no not a single doubt left now as far as my iman is concerned as far as my relationship with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and islam is concerned and as far as my relationship with the hijab is concerned so i must say that i love the hijab so so much and i know that it it's going to bring only good things in your life. Again, doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. Sometimes it gets very difficult, which is precisely why I'm here to talk about. Like, I think all women who wear the hijab or who have worn the hijab at some point or the other, or who are Muslim, even men who are Muslim, you, they, you can understand that the battle is real. The struggle is real. The dunya is so tempting and sometimes you compare yourself with other people. You see that, you know, despite all your good actions, your efforts, you are not getting any rewards. And other people on, who are not doing any ibadat or worship, who are not repenting, who are still committing a lot of sin, they seem to be really carefree and happy while you are suffering. I, th I know that this gets very depressing at times because you feel like life is not fair and you feel like, you know, God is really not there. Like, why is, why is this happening to me? But again, as a Muslim, we know that you can't expect this dunya to be fair. It's never going to be fair. It's never going to bring you true contentment. And this is a deception. It is an illusion. Don't be fooled by it. You must actually you must celebrate the fact that Allah has chosen to open your eyes and he has chosen to make you see the truth he loves you so much that he wants to guide you and protect you from all these haram evil things these traps of the shaitan so again it's so difficult that you know sometimes you want you just keep crying in in, in such in prayer because you beg Allah for help you can't go on anymore it's too difficult for you and yeah, it's true, I don't mean to discourage you, but when you start to become more practicing and pious and serious in the path of Islam, your difficulties might increase. It's like, it's like you know, you, you are fit for a higher level exams now, so I guess it's a compliment. And you will become strong, you will definitely become strong, but it will take a lot of time and a lot of patience, of course. So my point is that, you know, I always focus on my own faults. I try to focus on my own faults and try to see how I can improve. 
so i definitely pray and hope sincerely that you know i will my iman will increase my actions good actions will increase my worship will increase my my especially my relationship with the hijab will improve it's not that i don't like the hijab but again it's like there are many difficulties many obstacles which sometimes make you feel discouraged i'm sure that most of you will agree with me and therefore you know i still hope like every single day this is what is correct this is what i should be doing and i want to do not out of force anything but you know sometimes you love something so much that you can't explain but you just know you have to do it at any cost and you are willing to do anything at some point you don't even care about people's opinions because you know that this is something that is right but unfortunately may allah help us what is right in the today's times in this world is not easy the more you will try to break free from the crowd because the crowd most often are doing is doing things which are not correct not compatible with the islamic philosophy you might find yourself alienated you might find yourself humiliated you might find yourself depressed lonely misunderstood insulted i'm not trying to again discourage you but that's the truth so i think we can get out of that situation stronger but we need to be we need to really be consistent and persevere and not